Well, hello everyone. Now this is going to be not my normal content, but I believe this is a video of interest because I have come to the conclusion because of COVID and how our leaders have acted, we are led by idiots that are not concerned about us at all. But our idiot leaders get weird ideas. Now, there's currently the war in Ukraine. And I have been assured in the receipt is on my tab from CNN that Belarus will not attack Ukraine. And they gave off all of their reasons why. Oh, they sound real good. I mean, they, they sound wonderful. I mean, they sound like they're right. But they're not. Yeah. Yeah. Want you more? I'm Vladimir Ass Putin. Well, as Vladimir Ass Putin, oh, I'm in trouble. They told me that I was gonna, we we're gonna run here in three days. Now, when this happened, I said, You're not coming in there in three days. It will end up in military debacle. Because the Germans, when they were going the other way in World War II, they took about 650. 50,000 men to surround and take Kiev. It was the largest military encirclement in human history. And the Russians attacked with a half a million too few men. So that's why when everyone else is saying three days and they showed me the Russian troop numbers, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, they're going to get themselves fucked up. And then they went all along the coastline, which they said, that's a bad idea, because then at any point they can just cut you off. And as you see, they went out on the sides, and Ukraine's just cut them off and rolling them straight backwards. So this has put Vlad in a bad, bad situation. He's getting his ass whipped. Now, once again... They say they're putting troops up there to deflect. Now, Vlad's worried about Vlad's ass. I mean, he has killed over a 100,000 of his own troops. Wounded, probably double that. So he has killed or wounded 300,000 of his own people. Or his allies. Because they're just rounding up any man they can in Ukraine and basically at gunpoint making them soldiers. And he's getting his butt whipped. And he would like to, the butt whipping to stop. But to keep in power, he has to be careful. Now, you know, once again, an attack is likely not to be successful. Honestly. And they say, that's why they're not going to do it. It wouldn't change anything. It would be a military disaster. Exactly. Because, see, Belarus is a pretty large country in itself. And once again, if the Belarus army had a military disaster, then I could sweep my Russian, my, my shithole Vlad army, and we could say, we'll protect you, Belarusians. And then all of a sudden, the next thing they know, they're a part of the new... Russian Republic again. Because they broke away from the Soviet Union too. And they have a current pro-Russian leader, but they might not always have a pro-Russian leader. And Vlad's trying to get territory. And, and as you see, he's going in the wrong direction. Now, a disastrous attack on Kiev will draw forces back, some. And it will also make, will he do something suicidal again? But the more important thing is, is a military disaster for Belarus allows him to run in with the entire Russian army. Then he can turn that entire Belarus into Russian territory. All those Belarus bases all of a sudden are Russian bases. You get where I'm going. There is no downside to him having a military debacle. Because furthermore, you're just mostly getting Belarusians killed. You're conquering the country without a shot. 
And then, just like the poor people in eastern Ukraine that were stuck there that weren't a part of this, you just grab them off the street and say, congratulations, you're in the army now to replace all of those magical Belarusian people that were killed and every Belarusian soldier killed create someone with a grudge against Ukraine, which will make them more accepting of joining Mother Russia once again. So once again, the talking heads on CNN and all the other stations make words. They're dumb words. You know, our leaders, even our military leaders, are incompetent. And this is Roger's proof, because once again, there's no downside for him to do it. Now, the problem is, he has to get Lusashenko to say yes. That's the trick. Once again, it, there's no downside. I mean, if they have a military debacle, he gets all of Belarus and all those bases. In fact, to me, it sounds like that would be kind of advantageous if I was to have a huge disaster for Belarus. I can be the hero. And you see, this is where Vlad comes in. Vlad's worried about Vlad's long-term power. Once again, he saved Belarus. You get my quote meaning? And, and it rejoined Mother Russia. This is a fallout if he wants to try to save his ass. Once again, if I'm evil Vlad shitting Putin, this would be my plan. Vlad's worried about Vlad. You know, by having the military disaster, I gain a country, gain a new army, get a whole bunch of new cannon fodder, and I open up a giant front to the north closer to Kiev that will force enough troops to come back to where maybe I won't keep getting my ass kicked in the east. You see where I'm going this. So once again, the talking heads say one thing, and Roger says, once again, you're an idiot. Because I even said what day they were going to invade on because of the way that the weather was and the fact it was a new moon. So that's why I'm getting some of this on record and why. Now, everyone, this won't be normal content here, but everyone... Have a good day.